Parents of school-going children in flood-hit areas have expressed concern for the safety of their children ahead of the school's opening on Monday. Some parents in Busia and Naro counties say they may not release their children to schools as the parts of the counties remain flooded weeks after the rains started. Others are still unsure of where the children will learn as some schools remain occupied by flood IDPs. Wanga reports on the countdown to the school's reopening as some flood victims ask for assistance to get their children ready for Monday. The Huruma Sports Complex in Nairobi hosts hundreds of people displaced from their homes by the floods in Madari. Conditions here are tough and they're set to get dire for families with children in both primary and secondary schools. Salome Njoki, a grandmother of several, is at her wit's end. In just under two days, schools will be reopening, but she doesn't have hopes that her grandkids will be joining the rest in class. Na mimi ni mmoja wa adhiriwa. Na mimi ni soso wa miaka sabini na biri. Na nikola wajuku. Na wana uniform. Other parents in the camp facing a similar predicament. They say the floods didn't give them a chance to save anything other than their lives. Mm, the Kenya Red Cross managing this camp contains at the back to school concerns raised by the parents are genuine and need urgent attention. The majority are willing to go back to school on Monday, but uh, they don't have the uniform. And of course they are coming from different primary school. So that is the main um, need and also stationaries the books and the pencils and the rest. So those are two critical needs that uh, they are worried. Concerns about the return to school go beyond the provision of uniforms and stationery. In Busia, the very challenge of accessing the schools and the state of the schools themselves is evident. A number of schools remain uninhabitable from the remnants of the floods that have damaged infrastructure in the learning institutions. And this, parents say, is not conducive for school on Monday. I'll leave you. Tunaona ni kama tunahatarisha ya maisha ya watoto. Kwa sababu wanataji maboti ziwe ambazo zitawavusha. Na bila wa watoto kupita kwa imaji, itakuwa ni hatari kwao. Uh, siko tayari kwa sababu usalama wa watoto. Kuna wale watoto wa chekechea. Kuna wale watoto wa grade 1 na kuendelea. Hawana, hawana usalama ule wa kuenda. Kwa sababu unezaambiwa mtoto ameanguka kwa maji na amefanya nini? Amekufa. IDPs currently residing at the St. Peter's School in Narok Town also face uncertainty over where they will be hosted once schools reopen. The IDPs have been occupying the classrooms, making the best of an otherwise dire situation since they were flooded out of their homes. Some of them even have pupils at the school. They simply don't know what Monday holds. The IDPs camping here have been asked to vacate ahead of the school opening on Monday. Tutaenda wapi tuko na watoto shule tuna, tuna, tunaambiwa leo ndio mwisho na Jumatatu ndio hiyo imefika na tuko mpaka na watoto wa secondary tuko na watoto wa class 8 watoto wanashikwa na homa homa aishi pesa ya kwenda hospitali hakuna pesa yenye tulikuwa na ilienda na maji those affected in the different counties are hopeful that the help they need will come in the next 24 hours before schools reopen they want to be resettled and their children facilitated to join their peers in class brenda wanga citizen tv